that thing. Uh, are you and I the only ones left? It seems like it, hey? <laughs> I, <laughs> I thought there would be more of us. Uh, you know, mm. honestly, it's rather daunting. I'm so proud of you guys that you can even get around after, you know, a few weeks. It, honestly, it took me like three weeks. are now at virtual hallucinations on Davis Island. This project is by Peter Yellowlees and James Cook and is an education project and the research has been published in PubMed. The authors here evaluate um, the use of internet virtual reality such as Second Life as an educational tool about hallucinations of psychosis. Here we're having trouble getting into the building. Um, our avatars are on average seven feet tall and the building is built to scale. So built to the scale of the clinic on Stockton Boulevard in Sacramento. So we're needing to shrink past our seven plus feet um, height. In we go. So we right click on ourselves, um, click on appearance and then we can edit our height by using the slider and then we save our new preferences. We can change it later. The hallucinations that we encounter such as this one are hallucinations of actual patients. There's a pre-survey and post-survey, um, so here we take the survey as we exit. Thousands of people have toured these, the facility on Sedig on the main grid. We're now off to our next stop, which will be the um, Bioterrorism Defense um, Facility, which is another um, building um, based on a facility here in Sacramento. The objective here is to create and evaluate a pilot bioterrorism defense training environment um, using Second Life. And now here we are back at Davis Island. And a couple of things that I pointed out here are that there are um, peer-reviewed journals that are free on the internet about virtual environments. The Journal of Virtual Worlds Research just put out a, a special issue, volume two, number two here, on 3D virtual worlds for health and healthcare. And of course, the Journal of Medical Internet Research. Here I am with Rajiv. We're touring the Virtual Palomar um, Hospital. And right now, just making sure we have our RFID bracelets intact. So I am um, working on a video um, that I'll put out next week and it's just about for what we've done in the classes in the next in the last couple of weeks. And so I'll, okay. um, I'll have this to put on. Okay, so that honestly we did as much in this short little while as we did at least in one of the classes and I should have it ready in the next couple of days and I'll put it on the uh, Moodle you. site. Okay? okay? Thank you. Oh, let me take a picture of you so that you can use it for your, um, for your profile. Okay, one sec.